Welcome to the Laptex. My name is Nasser, and today I received a motherboard of 1465, which is short. And uh, when I plug it in, only green light comes on the adapter cable. Uh, no voltage comes inside the motherboard. No 3.3 volt, no 5 volt in the motherboard. But only I find 16 volt on the motherboard. Here I am just checking without adapter on the beep sound not short and uh, also 8 volt is okay uh, there is no shorting at all and uh, processor is okay no shorting gfx voltage is also okay and uh, ram voltage 1.05 ech voltage and uh, so on all the voltages are okay but in this motherboard i found something strange that only one capacitor here nearby uh, standby regulator it's zero so it should not be zero because uh, if it is zero it means the 5 volt is short from somewhere so I found out that this capacitor nearby uh, PCH supply is short completely short from the both side it is zero so let's try to remove it so usually you may find uh, so many cases that uh, the only green light appears on the DC jack and the uh, laptop is not responding anything when you uh, push the power button and uh, nothing happens when, even if you just reset your S SMC reset or UP RAM reset whatever you want to do if there is a shorting in the motherboard so your laptop will not respond so now see here this capacitor I think if you are able to hear the bit sound it's zero ohm. so it is short now let's plug it in uh, remember one thing unless or until I use the power audio board cable it will not show me light on the my MagSafe let's plug it in however uh, when I received the laptop it was already dead see here the condition of motherboard is still same uh, as usual the condition is the green light turning into orange the same thing was happening still I removed the shorting from uh, from this capacitor but condition is remain same it's not on it should on as I used uh, my power supply I need to push the power button in order to on it but actually whenever you are not using any uh, battery with a motherboard it should on by itself now plug it in the green light turning into orange it must be on but the fan is not spinning I can presume that the motherboard is not on it is still dead let's find out let me check once again all the voltages I am gonna check here I think you are able to see it the voltages the 15.74 the, the DC jack voltage is here and uh, 8.3 voltages E bus G3 hot voltage it, this is the 8 volt always in the air MacBook uh, and, uh, as well as in Pro and see the 3.42 volt G3 hot voltages it must be here first of all it is here 3.46 volt it is approximately right and uh, see all 
Oh my God. The fuse, fuse is supposed to be a jumper wire. But here, what I see here, that from one side of the fuse, it's 8.3 volt and the other side of the fuse, it is merely 3.9 or 4 volt. Let me check it. This is 3 10 kilo ohm, 9 kilo ohm. There must be 0 ohm on the fuse as I was supposing, but actually it is not. So take the scrap motherboard and uh, change the fuse. If you don't get fuse, you can use jumper wire as well and uh, you can use 0 ohm resistance instead of fuse. Uh, in my last video, uh, someone has commented me that uh, you just make fool uh, by pretending that you are moving hot gun but you are not actually using it. And uh, I replied him that uh, use good quality of paste. I use MK504L. That is, I think, as of now, I have ever used such quality of paste. It does not produce uh, much smoke. So, but actually, uh, I would like to suggest you, if you are in the repairing line, that use good quality of paste. It is good for your health. Now, just plug in, and let's see whether the fan is spinning or not. Now, see, as I found the one side of the fuse, there was merely four volt. Let's check on the same side. And see the what the voltage is there there must be 8 volt 8.3 volt it's quite okay this is the fuse the both side of the fuse there must be 8 volt in any air motherboard if it is not there just there is something problem something has burnt some there is this short circuit in the motherboard anything could take place you have to find out that what is going wrong See the display. See just my power supply and I can guess that there must be display in the motherboard because as the ampere fluctuates when the display comes I think if you are in the repairing line you may have experience of it that when that uh, ampere goes high and it's down and again it goes high so there always must be display in the motherboard. Sometimes it does not come there might be RAM problem and uh, if the display does not come but most of the time I found that the display comes when my power supply guesses that it the appear is fluctuating thank you for watching this video